Getting insured through super. Life has a habit of throwing us curveballs. Mm. Sickness, injury and death aren't things we often like to think about. But these things do happen and the best thing you can do is be prepared. One option is to consider insurance. Think of insurance like a financial safety net, a backup plan if you're unable to work or no longer around. Knowing that you and your loved ones may be provided for can often take a big weight off your shoulders. The good news is that for many of us, insurance can be accessed through our super, which means your premiums can be deducted from your super balance rather than your take-home pay. And since the premiums are tax deductible to your super fund, the net cost of holding insurance through super is reduced. There are three main types of insurance available through super, and it's really important to know the difference. Firstly, there's life insurance, also known as life cover or death cover. If you were to pass away, your nominated beneficiaries could receive a lump sum or income stream from your super. Life insurance often comes with terminal illness cover, which provides cover if you are diagnosed with an illness that cannot be recovered from and only have a short amount of time left to live. Then there's total and permanent disability or TPD insurance. If you suffer an illness or injury that leaves you totally and permanently disabled and unlikely to work again, you could receive a lump sum to help pay for, among other things, medical and rehabilitation costs. And finally, income protection or salary continuance insurance. If you suffer a temporary disability or illness, this cover can provide monthly payments to help cover a portion of your living expenses for a set period of time. Because insurance can be important and many people overlook it, your super fund may automatically add life, TPD and or income protection insurance to your super account when you become a member. So make sure you check what type and level of cover you may already have. Being underinsured or overinsured can both be costly. It's also important to consider the premiums in terms of their impact on your super balance over time and whether it may be appropriate to offset this with extra contributions. And before you make any decisions about your insurance, it's crucial to consider your own personal circumstances when weighing up what type and level of insurance cover makes sense for you.